Well, we're packing up to leave. We've got 1,800 watts of solar panel on the roof. We're going to need that. We haven't needed it for the last two months because we hooked up shore power. So I got to get up there and see what the solar panels look like. I'm sure I need to clean them. There's a dirt road over here. So let's get up there and check it out. I got a lot of work to do. I guess I'll get to it. I'll have to clean those. No problem. Well, like I said, we're packing up to leave. We've been on shore power for two months. And when we're on shore power, I turn my solar system off. I've got three arrays. I got a 60 amp, a 40 amp, and a 20 amp. And they all charge these four lithium ion phosphate batteries, Batterborn batteries. It gives us 4,800 watts in the bank. We can run just about everything. I've got a little window air conditioner that I run off this system. It's kind of fascinating to be in the desert off grid with an air conditioned bedroom. Actually, that air conditioner. It's a little 6,000 BTU job, and it'll cool this entire RV unit. We get ready to pack up. I have to turn the batteries back on, the battery arrays back on with these various switches. When you're on shore power, you need to turn your solar arrays off so you don't keep your batteries at full capacity. These are 14.4 volts on the boost charge. And if you keep for an extended period of time, it hurts them, it's harmful to them. Just as harmful as it, as it is to keep them fully discharged. So since we're leaving tomorrow, I'm gonna turn the uh, solar rays back on with these various switches and like the big one right here. There's a breaker right here. All I do is flip it down and it'll start charging the batteries. The 40 amp, it'll start charging the batteries. And the little 20 amp is just a switch. You can see it's already up to 13.6 volts. When I came out here just a few minutes ago, it was 13.2. I'm up to 13.6. There's something fascinating to me, at least, making ice and having air conditioning, and you're sitting out in the middle of the desert, hooked to nothing but the sun. <laughs> okay, well, I got a lot of other work to do, so I better get to it. And of course, when you're pulling out, before you hit the road, this no-brainer, you turn your propane off. That's a lot of fuel right there. It's 119 pounds. Turn it off. Finger tight. Well, you ready to leave? Sure. Okay, we're gonna go. That's awesome.
there we go. Pretty cool. That's weird, man. That could have really done some damage. We're just fortunate. Well, there it is. That could have done some serious damage. We're just lucky we stopped when we did. Let's see, um, let's look north where we came from. Of course, we're staying here at this uh, Love's truck stop. That's Interstate 15. And that's, uh, that'll take you right into Las Vegas, North Las Vegas. We've stayed here before and uh, I think a year or two ago that loves is very RV friendly. Exit 42. Look at this, 
all the way back there. Yeah. That's for miles. Must have been an accident or road work. Oh my god, man. Okay, oh, they're stopping up here. Okay. They're stopping. What? It said they're stopping up here. I'm freaking out, man. I don't like it. <laughs> back you up for my mom. Cannot go through Las Vegas without encountering this sort of thing. And we we yeah, never have been able to do it. There's no way around Las Vegas. You, if you want to go south, you have to go through Las Vegas. What if you want to go north? <laughs> you you got to go through Las Vegas. Over, but well, if you get over, possible. then if you get over, then you're going to need to get back over here. Yeah, you're right. You're good. Well, good. What's over there that's not over here? <laughs> <laughs> You don't know 